Okay, so I'm going to turn up the the uh, gate drive. There's our nice oscillations. So right now I have the uh, the circuit hooked up like I always have had it with the positive uh, battery connection going directly to the um, tar baby circuit and uh, but over here hanging off of the terminal I have a blue thing and a brown thing and those are little inductors this one's a bigger one and it's blue and this one's a smaller one and it's brown and uh, what I'm going to do is show the effect of those inductors on the waveform that you get those aren't very big inductors but they do correspond to some wire length. Okay, so there's your oscillatory waveform without the inductor, without any extra added inductance. So now uh, I'll just uh, unclip the clip. Sorry about the light. I'll unclip the clip lead here, and I'll hook it up to the to the blue inductor. Okay, like that. All right. So now I'll see what happened to the oscillations on the drain trace. And I'll play with the gate drive a little bit, and you can see those nice spikies coming in and up and up and down. And just to look at them at a higher resolution. And then changing the drive a bit. I think an inductive ring down is, is uh, really beautiful. It's one of the uh, physical beauties of the world. Okay. So anyhow, there's your nice, beautiful inductive ring downs, uh, but you see there's not a lot of real switching going on. And these, this high voltage spike is uh, is a result of the inductance, uh, and you can't do anything with it because it's just the same energy bouncing back and forth in the circuit, bounce, 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 okay, until it's finally dissipated as heat and resistance. That's why it has this shape. Uh, okay. And then there's not very much uh, DC current going, right? Okay, and and, and um, so now what I'll do is I'll go to the that's the on the the uh, the blue inductor. So now I'll go to the brown inductor. Like that. And that uh, is such a small inductance that we still get our good uh, continuous waveform all the way across the pulse. Uh, if this pulse were long enough, this, you'd probably see it decay, or you might see it continuing to oscillate. Uh, but at any, at any rate, this looks very much like what we get without any extra added inductance. And I'll, I'll show you that by just unclipping here and touching it to the to the fuse holder. So that's uh, without any extra added inductance, and that's with the extra added inductance of that little brown inductor. Okay. Now what I've got here is another identical brown inductor but it's just across uh, uh, the back-to-back -back LEDs so back-to-back -back LEDs anode to cathode and then the inductor and they're all in parallel all right okay and then that's uh, I ran out of room at this end so I just used an alligator clip to clip that to the negative battery or positive battery terminal right there okay so now what we'll do is we'll unclip from here and clip to there Boom, and you see, you can see those are back-to-back -back LEDs, and they're both lit, and we have the uh, uh, oscillatory waveform still there. Those LEDs are actually lit very brightly, and if I touch stuff, adding capacitance, I change the waveform and uh, darken the LEDs. Okay, and now let's see what have we got? We got nine milliamps or ninety. I'm sorry, ninety milliamps of current. Uh, battery voltage is still over 12 volts each. <laughs> Oscillatory waveform. Uh, both LEDs, back-to-back -back LEDs, lighting, no dropping resistor in there. Uh, so the, all of the DC then should be passing through the inductor with very little uh, resistance. And whatever is lighting up the, whatever AC is in there, this oscillatory stuff is uh, lighting up the LEDs, apparently. And if I, if I, because if I go down on the oscillations, you can see that the brightness of the LEDs follows the level of the oscillations. All right. And if I go to very, 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 very slow, sorry, 
very slow os osculatory rate, you see that they're not alternating, right? They only come on when the oscillations come on, so they're not alternating because of the pulses of the signal generator. They're both on, and they're all flashing at, uh, I don't know, four, 4 megahertz or so, whatever is the frequency of that, or 3.1 megahertz, something like that. Okay. Let's go back to the normal operation here of the function generator. Okay. Um, so isn't that interesting? Now here's another interesting thing. I, I'm going all the way down, so I've got the back to idle mode, uh, gate drive down. Now we're going up and 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 up. And you see the oscillations start, and then they increase to a point, still going up, and then kind of, uh, boom, they collapse. Right there, boom. I'm still turning the knob upwards. Now I'm at the full up extreme. You can see the lights have dimmed a little bit. Now I'm going to start down, 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 oops, down, 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 whoops, and there it comes back up abruptly, and at that point we have the really bright LEDs, okay, and then all the way down back to zero again. So there's a point in there just below that cusp of some kind where you get the most AC power through the LEDs, but you're still not getting a lot of DC power through the thing because the MOSFETs are staying off. Here's the baseline. For the MOSFET to turn on, we have to see a drain signal that's, that's down here somewhere. Okay. Okay. I don't know if these are the LEDs of doom or salvation, but they're, they'd be glowing. Thanks for watching.